Keith and Jen, that new law banning so-called vaccine passports goes into effect on July 1st in Florida. But it looks like it's already having an impact on not just public, but also private institutions. Citing Florida's new law, Nova Southeastern University dropped its COVID vaccine mandate. The private institution with a campus in Clearwater was planning a return to full in-person learning. But now, according to its website, if NSU does not reach the voluntary threshold goal of 80% vaccination, COVID restrictions will not be rolled back. I'm already vaccinated out of personal choice. While desiring a return to normal this fall, NSU students, including Nabil Karim, were against the mandate. If somebody has a, a strong argument against getting the vaccine, uh, they, they shouldn't be forced to get it. Right now, we're having uh, uh, the checkerboard classrooms. Right now, a similar scene at campuses across Florida. Dr. Jay Wolfson teaches public health at USF. Like NSU, USF is also just encouraging vaccination. This fall, the school will continue to test and monitor for COVID while maintaining a hybrid approach. We're, we're doing a combination of online and in classrooms, and we're giving some students and some professors the option of doing both. It's like putting out a forest fire, and we go after where that for forest fire is starting, and we put it out even if it means closing some classes. The hope is colleges no longer need to shut down classrooms due to COVID outbreaks. However, more than 300 campuses nationwide are still requiring the COVID vaccine, according to a running tally by the Chronicle of Higher Education. But not a single one is in the Sunshine State. So here is the takeaway. If you are a college student in Florida, it's increasingly likely you can choose to skip the COVID-19 vaccine. But it comes with a price. For now, Keith, the mitigation measures are here to stay. It'll be interesting to see if uh, you get this 80% uh, student participation towards vaccination. You don't even know what that is yet, do they? They're not even telling you so far. Uh, but, but they are offering exemptions, exceptions? That's right. They've been doing that all along, so we want to make that very clear. NSU was offering exemptions for medical and religious reasons, and that is something that we have seen nationally across the board as well. Right. Masa, thank you for that. And if you have something you would like Masa to investigate,